Hello, good doctors. I am Dr. Dipen with yet another video for you from Dipenism. And today, the concept that we are taking is from genetics. And the father of genetics is Mendel. So, we are taking a particular experiment which has been performed by Mendel, which is known as Mendel's monocross. Now, we are aware that Mendel performed experiment on Pisum sativa, that is garden pea plant. And the first experiment that is performed was with only one pair of contrasting trait. Since it was a single contrasting trait that was considered, it is known as mono. And two plants were taken and they were cross-pollinated during the first stage. So that is why the word cross is used. So cross is for cross-pollination. Another thing to remember is, Mendel performed experiments for three generations, that is P1, which is known as parental generation. From parental, the new offsprings that were produced that were known as F1, that is first failure. And from F1, the second generation that was produced, that is known as F2, or second failure generation. So for three generations, Mendel performed the experiment on pea plant. Suppose we take the single contrasting trait in reference to stem height of pea plant and this characteristic feature height has two alternative traits. One trait is tall, another trait is dwarf. So the two plants are taken and they are considered as the first P1 generation that is parent generation and both the parents are crossed. Now we are already aware of the fact that tallness is dominant over dwarfness but that is the advantage that we had. Mendel did not know which feature is dominant and which feature is recessive. He experimentally concluded that one of the feature that is being expressed in the next F1 generation will be known as dominant and the one which is not expressed is known as recessive. So he started with this parents and the parents were always taken pure. So pure tall was crossed with pure dwarf. The word pure means Homozygous, homozygous meaning when both the genes are same, that is both the alleles of a particular gene, if they are same, then they are known as pure or homozygous parents. So for tallness, the alleles are similar, so they will be taken as capital T, capital T. And for dwarfness, they are taken as small t, small t, because we are already knowing the fact that dwarfness is recessive, so we are representing in small font, but the same letter. In the next step, the gametes are produced, and during gamete formation, the cell division that occurs, that is meiosis. And in meiosis, the diploid chromosome number is reduced to half. That is, it becomes haploid. So, out of the two alleles, only one of the alleles will enter into the gamete. So, capital T or capital T. So, only one allele enters into the gamete. Similar with this parent, it can be small t or small t. For producing the F1 generation of springs, there will be fusion of gametes. Now, for fusing gametes, remember this trick that fuse first with third, first with fourth, second with third, second with fourth. And all the offsprings of the F1 generation are going to be same. That is capital T, small t, capital T, small t. So all the offsprings were found to be tall. That is they are representing one of the parent. And since they are representing this parent, this parent was concluded to be the dominant one and the other which is not being able to express itself, that characteristic feature was considered to be recessive. So there was no difference between this tall and this tall, that is externally, that is phenotypically. But when we consider the genes, this is pure, both the alleles are similar, but here the alleles are not similar, they are dissimilar. So we call these offsprings as hybrid tall. Hybrid means heterozygous when both the alleles are dissimilar. Since all the offsprings of F1 generation were hybrid, this experiment is actually known as mono-hybrid cross performed by Mendel. So now we have decoded the entire meaning of the title mono-hybrid cross. Mono meaning single pair of contrasting trait. Hybrid since all the offsprings are hybrid in nature. Cross that is cross-pollination performed between the parental plants. In the next stage, to produce F2 generation from F1, Mendel did selfing. Selfing means self-pollination of this F1 generation. And out of 
these four we are taking any two features that is self pollination is done that is on the same flower so anther of one flower and the ovary of one flower produces the gametes so here the gametes produced from this parent will be capital T and other will be small t this parent same way capital T and small t so this representation in the tabular form that we are showing this representation is known as punnett square punnett square is also known as checkerboard diagram and this explanation was given by one of the scientists reginald c punnett and based on that that representation we are showing and all the offsprings that will be shown here are from the f2 generation now these are the gametes so circle with arrow represents the male gametes which are represented horizontally circle with plus sign are the female gametes which are represented vertically that was how the punnett square representation is shown male gametes horizontally and female gametes vertically now the next stage is fusion so this with this will produce capital t capital t this with this capital t small t a dominant allele is always written first so you cannot write small t capital t instead capital t small t is written this with this capital t small t and finally small t small t so this is the entire explanation of the monohybrid cross but conclusion of the monohybrid cross comes with mentioning the ratios so ratios that are mentioned are the phenotypic ratios and the genotypic ratios now phenotypic ratio phenotype means external appearance so externally this plant is going to appear as tall 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 but this plant both the receiver leaves are coming together so it will be dwarf so the phenotypic ratio is 3 tall is to 1 dwarf now for performing any experiment on any characteristic feature of pea plant the monohybrid cross phenotypic ratio is going to come 3 is to 1 whereas when we take genotypic ratio in genotype we do mention whether the plant is pure or hybrid that is it is homozygous or heterozygous so these two alleles are same so it is homozygous these two are hybrid this is again homozygous so the genotypic ratio that is coming over here is one pure tall that is homozygous tall these two are hybrid tall that is known as heterozygous tall and the last one is one pure dwarf that is homozygous dwarf we'll also mention the symbols over here for the reference that is pure tall both the alleles similar hybrid dissimilar and dwarfness again similar so this represents the complete explanation of mendel's monohybrid cross what are the entrance question that can come suppose they ask what are the total number of phenotypes in monohybrid cross the phenotypes are 1 and 2 so there are two phenotypes phenotypic ratio is 3 is to 1 but total number of phenotypes are 2 similarly the genotypic ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1 but total number of genotypes if it is asked it is three different genotypes so that is all about monohybrid cross and in the next video we shall take diabetic process well thank you